And I'm thinking about, you know, the shot that you hit tonight quite a few times, sidestep from the right wing. Is that kind of one of your bread and butter shots that you've worked on for, for quite some time? Now, what good would that do to me <laughs> if I told you that was my bread and butter spot? And everybody saw this. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know, respectfully, I, I think I've been able to put in a lot of reps over the course of my career. So, you know, if there's a spot that I like to get to, you know, that ring, I've, uh, excuse me, that wing spot, I've, I've been pretty successful. Um, you know, so whenever I get a chance to get to it or line it up, um, you know, I feel like it has a great chance of going in. So, you know, I, it's definitely not a bread and butter spot, but I definitely had some success, success there, which I'm grateful for. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Kyrie, I got two for you. Just you guys were down 10 at the half and, and had that big third quarter. Just what, what do you think started to work for you guys that allowed you to go in the fourth up? Uh, well, in any divisional game, uh, I think it has a, a level of physicality that you have to match or, uh, you know, you have to overmatch, uh, might I say. Uh, and they came out and just hit us in the mouth a few times, you know, and um, they were letting us play. The rest were letting us play. So we just had to overmatch it. And, and I felt like in that third quarter, we came out with an intent to um, go into the fourth quarter uh, with the lead. And we successfully did that. So I'm, you know, proud of our guys. It was total team effort. Um, you know, a lot of guys stepped up, um, especially our bench. Uh, they came in and, and made a difference. And, you know, when we got guys out, injury bug, um, we need that uh, more than ever. So, yeah. And you just touched on my second question a little bit, but I mean, that late game execution from you guys, given it was a group that, that normally isn't playing together, outside of that, that one turnover you had, which you, you said after the game, you were ready, you know, wish you had back. Just, what would you think of that, <laughs> given given the circumstances? Yeah. Yeah, no, we, we just usually have a package that we go to. Uh, towards the end of the game and they were running, uh, the Knicks were running a hit. So they were running a double team and um, a few times down the, uh, you know, the last three minutes, they, they were pretty successful at, at getting the ball in, in someone else's hands to, to take a tough shot or to influence the shot. Uh, so when I got a chance to, uh, you know, it was less than what, 40 seconds left or 50 seconds left and I take I had that turnover. It just takes the wind out of the sails a little bit of, uh, you know, having a possession that we, we could have maximized. So. Things happen, uh, you learn from it, um, but I I'm glad we came out with the win. Like I said, it's a total team effort. The guys did a great job of supporting, um, you know, each other and me. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kyle, you kind of touched on it, but to go from down 11 to up four, you know, in that whatever, 20 to five run, was that just a matter of being more physical on the defensive end? You guys forced a lot more, you guys forced like as many turnovers in that run as you had the whole game up to that point. Yeah, that's when we're at our best. Uh, you know, I think we learned from from last night uh, being able to, you know, kind of uh, start uh, a little slow, but be able to pick it up and be able to get the stops that's needed. Uh, but the physicality definitely picked up. Um, and as you can see, Brian, it, it, it definitely propelled us to, to be uh, in the lead going into that fourth quarter. Uh, but it doesn't happen without the effort. It doesn't happen without following details and also making the missed shots. And, you know, in the first half, Reggie Bullock gets it going. Few guys get you know some makeable shots, um, and, and they didn't fill us at all. You know, a few guys uh, felt good, um, and then we made a difference in the second half and, and influenced some misses. And you know, luckily, it, a few bounces went our way, and we got on the run. Craig Logan with Newsday. Uh, Kyrie, uh, Steve mentioned that this is a kind of gritty effort uh, that is the kind of game that people remember, and you've had several games like this, what kind of dividends do you think this will pay uh, later on this season as you move into the playoffs? Uh, well, I mean, it's the regular season, so we do uh, the best we can, Greg, you know, and in, in finding um, some motivation, uh, you know, to play every game at a, a, at a high level. Um, and in order to do that, um, not only do you have to earn the other um, team's respect, but you got to go take it as well in, in terms of uh, setting a precedent of, of the way you would like to go about it. And I think we've been able to learn uh, a lot about one another and a lot about us as a team of, uh, you know, being resilient down the stretch and, and locking in on the defensive end and trusting that. Uh, offensively, it's going to turn over, you know, so much weird stuff happens at the end of NBA games. <laughs> you know, at the end of uh, a lot of basketball games, but specifically NBA games, a lot of weird stuff happens at times. I know a lot of fans are, you know, cringing when things happen, <laughs> you know, coaches as well, as well as the fans. Um, but we learn a lot about each other down the stretch when we have to earn those wins. And it is gritty. You know, it's a divisional game. 
played against Chicago yesterday, a few other games uh, ago, uh, we played against some teams that really took it to us. And, uh, you know, we just got to be able to respond each and every time, you know, whether we're down 10, down 15, down 19, or up 10, up five or 15, we still have to have that, uh, you know, that um, attitude, that mentality. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Kyrie, does, does the mental adjustment that you have to make when you start a game with a key player and then that player goes out like James did, does that differ from just knowing from the get-go that you're not going to have him at all? I mean, it's unfortunate that any uh, any time that happens uh, or some player goes down, you know, it's unfortunate that emotionally uh, we feel it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's tough to kind of move on to the next thing after one of our guys goes down, anybody goes down um, with an injury, an apparent injury where they have to go to the back. Um, so it doesn't make it easier either way. We just want James to be healthy. We want guys to be healthy. Um, but when, when situations happen like that, we just got to be able to move on to the next thing. Um, and it was tough. You know, you saw it in, in terms of the flow of the game. It, it changed the flow. They started um, running a, a little bit of a different defensive package, uh, started packing in the paint a little bit more. Um, and you got to give credit uh, to the Knicks making an adjustment, but we don't want to see any one of our guys go down with an injury. Um, you know, it's tough either way. You watch that too. Last question, Brian Mahoney with the Associated Press. How often do you see a defense like they were playing in that last couple minutes where literally you could see them waving another guy to run toward you? It looked like something you don't maybe see in high school a lot, but maybe not too often in the NBA, I'd imagine. Uh, well, shoot, honestly, Brian, I've seen <laughs> as many defenses as you can imagine since I've been 11 years old. You know, uh, I haven't been great since I was 11 years old, but I've been seeing all types of defenses are trying to stop me um, and stop the team. So when teams start running that, that hit or that double team action from the top of the key, like I said, we just got to be able to have a, a package that we run to. Um, and it's a very simple game at that point. You know, they take two on the ball. And then we play four and three on the backside. You know, it just comes down to decision making. And I felt like uh, JG had a chance to increase the lead when he missed those two threes and then and went in and, and um, had a shot attempt at the rim uh, with his left hand. I don't know what he was doing specifically, but, uh, you know, plays like that um, on the defensive end when, when uh, op the opponent is trying to double team or get the ball in my hands, the best thing to do is just simplify the game. Anytime they take two on the ball, make the simple play and pass it. Um, and that's pretty simple about game basketball. So seen it all, seen it all, Brian.